Here we go again to all you rustlers around the world. I am Binky's Bob Wash. Yeah, this is what's happened to you guys. You see? And ladies. There's another one, isn't it? There's another one that you've got, haven't you? Empress Melanin. I should have put her in there, you know? I'd say Empress Mini. Why not? Hmm? Now, what's the matter with you? Can you please tell me, please? Hmm? There's. Why have Rastas hmm, hail these two men, hmm, Ali Selassie and this chap here on the right hand side, once called Tafari, by the way. Tafari, Emperor Tafari, the, and um, the other one, the other one, this one on the right. Now, why do you hail them as any, 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 anything? Well, let, let us look. Let's look at Selassie. Let's break Selassie down a bit. Selassie was an emperor. Of a country called Abyssinia. Okay? He never come from no lineage to Solomon. That's a myth. It's just a myth. It's a myth. Russ has made it up. They look this nonsense. No, no one else said it. No one else in Ethiopia said it except Rostas. Yeah. And like this, and I see, he said, you know, he was, an, he, he was a very weak man. Very weak man, man of no power. You know. He had a title, but he never had any power. <coughs> you know, like a, a lot of black leaders and title people, whether they was emperors or queens and kings of certain places, they had no power, you know. White supremacy structure already implemented, my people. Why do you think this little tiny man, he cried out to the United Nations and asked me for help now? Help me, white man, help me now. And that's all these black leaders could have done, whether they're leaders or kings and queens and emperors or lords and whatever they fucking are, their titles they got, my people. Because they're not working with their ancient thing. Look at this Emmanuel guy. See, look at this, this Selassie guy. Selassie is Hofer, that's bloody Christian. This Emmanuel guy, he says, I am reading from the Bible, I'm going to come with a different, uh, new order, new order, I'm going to uh, Baba Shanti, these are the things you do. And have you noticed, he speaks like the one called Elijah Muhammad. They speak the same, it's very slow when you could hardly hear them, it's like a weird fucking broken up bloody English coming out. Now, and so that's it been exactly the same. Go on, go on, go on, go on, Rasta. No, oh, His Majesty speak one thousand languages. Go on, Rasta. Tell me, I know, I know. He was magic, innit? it? Hey, he was Harry Houdini, in it. Yeah, of course he was. Do you, do you, do you know something? Let me teach you about Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini, he displayed something that Selassie and Emmanuel could never display. He displayed his an ancient black ritual thing. You ain't call it. Some people call it the white people call it black magic. The white people people call it voodoo, and we know it as juju, hobia. Yeah, call it witchcraft. So we call it science again. So you're working with. So I'm gonna go and tell your friend about what I'm telling you now. You think it's a scientific mystical energy that the black race pre pre presents that you. Have at your disposal. It's like atomic power. You know, they had to go and make gunpowder. The white man. You know, they had to make atom bombs. They had to make all kind of different nuclear devices. When the black race, we have that all at our disposal. You know, it's called ancient rituals. You know, so... Do you practice ancient rituals properly, my people? And you research further than any of your unholy books could take you now. You would know and be in touch with the one's power that you possess. 
Now, I'm going to tell you how it goes. <clears throat> it goes like this. Back in the day, and in the present, you do? You have nature man, nature woman, who deal with the presence of the energy of life itself. Okay? And it shows you where that energy is mostly in abundance. Okay? So, take it for example. You go by the volcano. You know what kind of energy is there, don't you? The reason don't go and disturb that volcano, that sleeping volcano. It might erupt, you dig? Okay. But yet still, my forefathers knew how to ignite and erupt that volcano and unleash it on the enemy. Hmm? How did that work out? Hmm? You go back to time and you read up on passages in life what my forefathers did to the enemy. You hear where they say, God bring this plague and this and God bring fire and God bring broomstock and lava. Oh, it's your forefathers who did that now because they was in touch with the energy and of the earth. Hmm. Hmm. So this is how you work this thing, this ancient thing out. You do? And this is what I'm saying to you, my people. I never work with no scriptures because they're unholy and they, they lead you into an early death, okay, or into a slow death, whichever one it is now. I've always worked with that <coughs> atomic energy that I possess within my body, okay, and it shows you and guides you into different energy of the earth. Mm. Hmm. Now that energy could bring you right to that volcano and it could make you be the one who puts the finger on the, on on that volcano which is your nuclear bomb. And you put your finger on it and it lets go. How do you get close to that? Huh? You don't literally put your finger on a volcano, do you? No. You manifest that power within that energy that you possess, that connects with that volcano. Now, this might be too scientific for you all now, you know, because you all are too blinded by those scriptures now, you see, because those scriptures doesn't lead you to the power of self. Huh? It leads you to Jesus and Muhammad, they're all kind of madness now. It, it, it's leading you all over the place, but not within within you. Hmm? Within you trying to trying to figure out when you go down to the river now, or you go down to the, the sea, your nearest sea near you, and trying to figure out how you could stop that water from flowing. Hmm? Do you have the do you manifest the power? Do you have the power within to do that? Within you no, you don't do you? And you won't even try to even phantom something so powerful now, because you know that's beyond your, your beyond. It's beyond your power. Yeah, you say you're leaving that shit to God. Yeah, why not? You, like you leave everything to God, isn't it? Yeah, but you, are you playing God when I it suit you? Because you are always judging. Humans always judge, so therefore you're playing God anyway, isn't it? But you don't play God enough where you can say, Rah, can I stop the water there from coming, from flowing, the sea? Can I can I really erupt that volcano? Can I really send that earthquake? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Can I really move that mountain? Huh? No, no, you can't do yeah. That's beyond you, your approach. That's beyond your approach of coming into your psyche. Because you don't possess that kind of brain. You don't know. Hmm? Well, that's the difference between me and you. You see? That's how I could tell you about 
Stop praying to foolish people who never even who couldn't think that far. Who couldn't even think as far as what I'm telling you how to far the human mind <coughs> must be beyond reproach. Hmm. Hmm. See when your mind when you have a mind like my mind is beyond reproach. That means you cannot change me from what I believe. All you could do, all I, I, when all you could do, is get yourself more in danger. The more you converse with me, the more I make you a believer hmm? of my ideology. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And when I finish with them, you know, my people, you know what happened? They put their Bible in the bin, and they put their Quran in the bin, and all the unholy scriptures right in the bin, because I twist them up and I send them mad. Yeah, have you heard of the word called insanity? Mm -hmm. go check it out and check out how you define it because I'll send them the hand back and they back and get they don't even know where they are twist them up right that's why I, <coughs> I know you sit down with any kind of ayatollahs I said any kind of popes bishops cardinals any imams any kind of religious scholar on this planet mm -hmm. and dismantle all the unholy goddamn psyche straight in front of the whole world. Mm -hmm. I could dismantle any world leader, any religious leader, in any anything, my people. You must hold a stand to understand the concept of who's addressing you. Okay, let's look at Louis Farrakhan, for example. What is Louis Farrakhan actually great at? Hmm? Uh, actually, what is he great at? The great at preaching the word of the Quran? No, of course he is. That's his, that's his field. He did. Preaching the word of the black man? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about it. He's not great at that. Why? Because preaching the word of the black man is preaching what? Talk at the thing is talking at the thing to you. The, the showing you. The essence of the black man is, is not in any, it's not, it's certainly not in any unholy book and certainly not in the Quran. So, you know, you look at these people, people put on pedestals like Louis Farrakhan, um, all these kind of people, all of them, you know, and whoever, who was the other one? Um, there was another one, wasn't it? Um, Al Sharpton, Jesse. Jesse, whatever his name is, you know. So you look at all these kind of people, you know, and you say, what's really happening? In the black people always feel they need to have leaders who are leading from a Bible. You see? So when you have black people with that same mindset, Martin Luther King, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Louis Farrakhan, you know, and all other religious preachers around the world. Hmm? What do you really have? You really have a lost race still needed to be guided and marshaled into order. <coughs> into order, into line. You know. Um, P, a race that does not search for answers within, but just searches. It's like, it's like before the internet, there was no search engine. There was just um, communication via telephone, letters, um, and things like that, right? Now, it's just on the finger of a button that people try to find information, but the information is still leading them to spiritual leaders you know is not leading them further than that then it's always just leading them into some dark web world where you got all kind of um 
false messiahs coming up all over the place and claiming to be the chosen child of God. And they've got, they're building up millions of coats on the neck. Do you think? And they're all in these little chat rooms and saying that we're, we're this church, we're this evangelical church, we're the church, the Christian church, Muslim this, Muslim that, all kind of different people. It's just popping up all around the place. And 99% of it is what? Con men and con women. Because the, the, somewhere on, on their little chat thing, there's a donations button, as you know, to press. Yeah. Right? The GoFundMe shit, the PayPal link, whatever link it is. So it's all for monetary gain. And that's what the internet's really about. It's really just about a bag of a con. You know what I mean? Who could con Who could con the best? Who could con the longest? You know. And um, who could, you know, and who could generate the most monetary funds? You know. Okay, from talking a bag of shit. From talking a bag of poo. You yeah, know. That is very, very sad. Now, my race can still be led um, by false, false prophets. You know, like the false prophets that you're looking at. That made you that said. Ali Selassie. As lineage of Solomon, King Solomon in the Bible, in their Bible. And then this guy, he came from nowhere, born the other day. Um, his name is Charles, and they called him Emmanuel. Is it? How did, this, did these things occur in the Rasta world? Well, if it wasn't for Selassie, you wouldn't be no Rasta. This is nonsense. If it wasn't for Selassie, they wouldn't be your kind of Rasta. You're damn right. The, the 12 tribes of um, Israel Rasta became with these names. Gad, Benjamin, all kind of names. Is it? No? And um, you ask any 12 tribes of Israel where Israel is, they, wouldn't even, they couldn't even tell you. If you ask them if they've got any intention of going there, they they say, oh, hell no. So what's the meaning of that? Is it? It's got no meaning. Is it? And um, the black man, they're a strange bunch, isn't it? Because how do you get this little black man in a, in a tiny island called Jamaica, in his little hut, and he says to one guy, hey, come here, boy. And the boy comes and he says, hey, boy, you know, I'll tell you a story, boy. And he's just telling this little black boy a story on the island. He runs and tells another boy. The other boy tells him. And the next minute, they're in this little hut, talking to this old black man. You right? His name was Charles. Right? Yeah, you can call me Prince Emmanuel, you know. You know. And then they take the same little man there. Right? He's probably drinking a holy pump, fucking white rum all day, talking farts to these little children. Right with it. I says, wrap up your head, you know, and dress like this. Yes, it's very simple, you know. And it's, wait, how did how did this happen? How did this actually happen in the Rasta fraternity? How did this little dude come from nowhere and turn a, a couple a bag of shit to a couple man, and they made it into a, 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 a movement and made it into their little cult thing? Yeah, it's a little cult thing. You lot there, pan. And you know, is is I knew it was a cult. I knew it was a cult from day dot. And now we definitely know it's a cult. Fucking hell. That's a Selassie guy. Ah yeah, yeah. Tell me something. Did Selassie have any fucking money? Hmm? He's like, hey, the, the, the Selassie doing chariot. Golden chariot. Did Selassie have any fucking money? Huh? I bet he had a change at one time. But I don't know. Do you know? I I don't know what Selassie had. I don't know what Selassie had, my people. I don't. I think Selassie's uh, Selassie never had no money because Selassie never come from some kind of Arab dynasty. Selassie came from Ethiopia. Selassie's parents was broke. His grandparents was broke, 
and that was going down. So because you see, when you come from, it depends on where you are, innit? We we you 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 you, you the uh, royal ruling family of wealth. Look at the people in Saudi Arabia. What's over there? Not not oil. Not it's only oil, isn't it? Yes, there's no oil where he said he is. Bro. So the whole dynasty was always broke. Well, yes, yeah, they're trying to say Selassie, Selassie, that. Selassie was as broke as a chap on the right-hand side called, um, what's his name? His real name was um, Charles. Charles Edwards, they, and they called it Emmanuel. He was as broke as him, broke as a fart. Broke, both of them never have two pen, pen, pen news up together. Both of them. Hmm? Both of them could share chicken back. One shared a fucking leg, one shared a back. And that's it. Yeah, and two dumpling, and they'd be happy with that. Also, that's he didn't eat dumpling, he only ate fucking bread. <laughs> the other one, ate, I, I eat dumpling and ackee and sawfish and drink white rum. Yeah, that's all the other chap did. That's why, Rasta, you lot, you lot fucked up. You lot fucked up. And the other one, what you call Empress Menin, isn't it? Yeah. Why do you just keep taking? People, every normal Joe blogs, ordinary Joe blogs, mm, and say they are someone a bit special. Mm, and people must look at them as special and shout at their name. They is the last guy, the first. Chop me line of Judah. King of Kings. I, I'm not the King of Kings, you know. And then, and then, and then this little chap, all these years later, he got he got people saying, uh, Prince Emmanuel, Emmanuel, what the yard says? Yeah, you lot are not good. You lot are good, isn't it? You lot are not easy. You the rest of people, you know, around the world. Wait, you listen. These it's only I'm going to help you lot though. It's only Jamaicans that come out of this, you know. Yeah, it's only Jamaicans. Look, think about what I'm saying, right? Think about it. Bobo Shanti was created in a in this man's uh, yard in in, in Jamaica, All right? So this is only. A <laughs> but now you, you guess what? Sizzler Sizzler was the flag flag bearer. He took the these not waste uh, bread. Came with a couple a couple of drinks, and it says when Bobo Shanti, I know you house this house that house, you, 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 you kick all this rubbish, yeah. And they're not easy. And then they got rustlers in Trinidad, in Grenada, in St. Lucia, Dominica, with Turban saying they're all sizzler, little, little sizzler fans. You see? You see? And they're screaming out Celestia, you see? You see? So that's why me with my big self, right? When says I came and they're screaming out this new guy's name, hmm? I. Couldn't even be bothered, right, to find out who the fuck these people are, right? I couldn't be bothered to find out. I couldn't, right? But when I did find out, <laughs> I was really happy. I couldn't be bothered to find out in the first place. When I did find out, because I said, look at this nonsense now. This one, <laughs> this guy here, look at him, look at Edward, look at Edward, look at Charles Edward. His parents called him Charles Edward. Look at him on the right-hand side. Look at him. Look, the guy on the right-hand side is Charles Edward. Have you heard of the Rasta screaming that a name called Prince Emmanuel I before, my people? That's him. That's him. His real name is Charles Edward. Go on, Google it. Go on, Google it. See, if I'm lying, go on. See, he's got a white man's name. <laughs> this is stupidness. He's got the King of England's whole title i bet you never know yeah because his name is king charles um on his surname windsor it must be king charles edward windsor okay brothers into edward in it yeah that's what i'm trying to teach you what's called edward and what's called andrew andrew the, the andrew yes andrew the one who don't take no 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 talk for grinding little little kids you dig? But when we stick to Zelassi, man, no power whatsoever now. No power whatsoever now. And he couldn't stop a little guy called Mussolini. Yeah, I mean, Hitler's little chihuahua. 
You do? Mussolini. A fat, stubby Italian chap. He says, I want to be like Hitler. Like my daddy. I'm going to wipe out the whole of Abyssinia. All these Negroes over here. I'm going to just take them all out now. There's this little chap. They reckon he's an emperor. They reckon, well, he ain't got no army. He ain't got no army. He's not. He's got no power. I don't mind if I yam up two spaghetti and put them in the, the Abyssinians and some pasta strings now. You know what I mean? And that's what he did now. The pasta fucking brigade came and licked down Abyssinia. Licked down these tiny little Ethiopians, Abyssinians running up and down the place now. Running away from the, the mighty power of the Italian army. Hmm? Think about that. Hmm? The mighty power of Mussolini's idiotic army became a mighty power. You see? They made them look like they, like they was a mighty power. Why? Because <laughs> that little man there on the left-hand side, well, Tafari, he had no power, did he? He had no power to stop them, did he? There you go. There you go. But yet, still, Rossa says he has some kind of biblical lineage to King Solomon. So if he did, let's say if he did for one second, that shows you everything in the Bible is a lie. That shows you King Solomon was not a king. He had no power. Because if he did, he's he's if he did, his um, family member would have got saved. It would have been Selassie in it. He'd have been able to draw some biblical power on their clerk. There you go. But because it's a myth, it's a misconception misconception of Rosta's warped imagination. Um. It, it, that you saw the result. Millions of Abyssinia perished, including Selassie. Well, don't forget, Selassie's not dead according to these um, delusional rosters around the world. Selassie's still alive. Because they never find anybody. Because so, he must be like Jesus then. They don't forget they never find Christ's money, Jesus' money, he died. And Selassie, I Do you know how many years I've heard this nonsense? And do you know it's not taking black people no way in life? Good. The in life, we try to go to the right places. And the right place is a higher entity, a higher knowledge of self. You rise to the top. With the more knowledge you have, the more the more of the more knowledge you have of this your existence, of how the world was created. You know, the, the, the creator and the creators created the world. Scientific evidence has proved religious people totally wrong. That science was, the world was created with science. They keep proving facts upon facts upon facts. You see? Yeah. So that's why man made bullets that kills. But if you take that same bullet and you put it in the gun, the gun misfires and kills the same man who pulls the trigger and kills him. Hmm? If you take that gun and you say, I'm going to kill that human being, the next human being, and you fire six shots at close point blank range. And not one of those shots kill that human. That's telling you that yes, man made gun, man made the bullets to put the, to put the gun in to, to destroy and kill another human or an animal or whatever. But yet still, that human or the animal still lives, the intended target. Because it's not a certainty, you see. It's still not a certainty, you see. Whatever man make is not a certainty that it will kill the intended target. 
the story that people make up with a potion of poison, you know, for the enemy, you know. And yet still that same person who made up that potion of poison ended up drinking their own poison. How's that one work out? This a higher entity at work. Yeah, see. So I can teach you on and on and on and on, my people. About where rosters are being going wrong. Hmm. Uh, rosters, I'm going to help you again. You know, rosters, do you know in life, life, I'm going to help you. you. Rosters say they don't, there's lots of things they don't do. And they don't eat and drink. Yeah. Rosters, I'm going to help you again. In life, life is too short. For me to say I'm not eating this, I'm not eating that. Hmm? While you're here on the planet in this life, indulge in the finest things that you can. The finest things that money could buy. Now, when I say that, so money could buy the finest piece of guava, the finest mango, the finest avocado, just the simplest things, just beautiful fruits. Because not all, all of us are blessed to have all of these trees in our back garden, like in the Caribbean and in Africa and shit. So, <clears throat> where we there, yes, sir, like in Angleterre, in the UK? We have to buy that shit, you know? And you need finance to get that shit. The finest fruits in life is what I seek, you know? Yeah. Because I like could eat about five papayas a day on a good day on a bad day I might eat two you know now because I an idea of serious toxins cleansing living you know I, I, I and I is always cleansing via temple on a daily basis purifying via blood on a daily basis you know yeah 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 so you have to know I know I was trying to make my skin look like I was 16 again. You did? Yeah, 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 yeah. So when they say, how old are you? I say, how old do you think I am? I say, you look 16. That's how I'm trying to teach you history. We're trying to, the rebirth of the new man. You did? Yeah. That's what rosters you need to do. Do all this big old beard and you've got all food in your beard and all looking all messy. It's not it's not a good look. You you're not desirable to the females. You more you might be desirable to another male looking like that. But you're definitely not desirable to the beautiful females in the planet. They don't want man looking like that. They don't want man looking like that. You dig? Yeah. <sighs> and all these things are growing in the beard. Twisting and trying to make this beard. Rosters, you need to change out your new look. Come with a nice, nice, new, refined look. And once you go bald head, you have a nice, new, refined look. Hmm? Because you can't keep coming with this look now. Because warriors don't have long hair. It's the weak link. Easiest way of the enemy to get you, I told you, Rosters, didn't I? Good. So let me teach you history. The next one, we this one called Empress Melanin, I think, or Empress Melanin, or whatever it is. I Google her up. That's what I do on you lot. Because I don't study or not. Because, <laughs> you know, too much nonsense for study like that. I teach or not, where you're going wrong, where you're going right. You dig? Yeah. And all the roster empresses out there now. I tell you. Let me teach you history. This thing is, I don't know what video. Why is these some more roster empresses turning blue movie stuff? No. Because I know is the way these roster men have treated you now. They made you feel worse than shit now. They keep beating you and abusing you. Violence now. Relationship in front of the kids. In front of those little roster kids now. And you turn blue movie star. And I'm trying to teach you all. Surely you can, there's better jobs going. 
to send in your goddamn soul to devil, black empresses, black eye being black baba shanty, girl, torture it. You need to stop that right once. And even the, the, non, the non rasta ones all doing all this dirty blue movie shit, adult porn, heavy porn. You need to stop that shit. I bet Emmanuel lying, so that's he told you all to do that shit, didn't he? Dirty old black man he was. Emmanuel lying, looks like one. He looks like, he looks like one. Yeah, doesn't look clean. He looked he, he look like young, yeah, shake and on. Yeah, think that's cool. Just like Elijah Muhammad. Grinding all those little, little girls, young girls. Elijah Muhammad was grinding. He was, wasn't he? Yeah, oh yes. Now Malcolm X says, I'm off. I don't have to know you. You're too, you're too filthy. You're ungodly now. You dirty little lying, dirty little old man. You think, yeah. You see, it makes you think. It makes Brother Malcolm think. What is the man thinking when he's looking at my wife? Mm. He was no good. You see. And that's why I'm trying to teach you all the history. Now listen to me, Keen. Listen good. Rosters, find a new a new um, way of life. And you can keep your way of life if you want. But you better start going a healthy diet and eat some goddamn meat and some structure in your ass. Right? And coffee your locks. Coffee lots, get rid of the turban. Take down all those pictures of Selassie. Forget about this guy called um, Edward Guy. This is um, uh, this old black Jamaican man. It says bloody uh, uh, Emmanuel, Prince, bloody uh, Prince of what? I do not know. How the hell do you get a prince and you, your parents wasn't kings or queens or no? What kind of rubbish is this? So, Rosters, get, get a grip on yourself, okay? And know when you come on this channel. I'm going to come free up the realness all the way now. And tell these rosters, you've gone totally wrong. You flopped. You flopped on this one. You've got this new guy to say he's he, Baba Shanti founder. Yeah, yeah. And and Selassie. He's as bad as Selassie, isn't he? There you go. So subscribe. Mm -hmm. Prescribe. Mm -hmm. More roster anti-dots. Yeah, yeah.